Other news tonight, we continue following some breaking developments coming out of Provo, where police have made an arrest connected to some recent arsons. New specialist Lad Egan broke the story last week about the arson investigation. He joins us now live with these new developments. Lad, this has to be a relief. Yeah, law enforcement feeling much better with this, with this arrest, but they say that they still got a lot of investigating to do. Provo police arrested a 19-year-old woman, booking her into jail on suspicion of two counts of aggravated arson, and now they're looking in to see if she's connected with several other fires. We saw two fires um, in a very small geographic location on a holiday morning. Tuesday afternoon, officers arrested Calio Milnar in connection with two fires at Centennial Apartments in Provo, where she lives. The blazes occurred early morning on Thanksgiving and Christmas. Quite frankly, these have been very dangerous fires. Um, the two apartments for which the charges have been filed um, occurred in a recreation room in an occupied apartment building while people were asleep. In both cases, there was also a nearby fire at the same time in the surrounding neighborhood. Based off of key card activity at the apartment complex, police served a search warrant and made the arrest. We are still looking at a number of fires um, throughout the city uh, that may be tied into this as well. It was in the stairway behind us. In early December, Kira Myers had to be evacuated due to another suspicious fire at Centennial Apartments. The police officers came in to our apartment and came and evacuated us in the middle of the night. The doormat, door and door frame of a neighboring apartment was on fire. The four people inside got out, but one suffered a burned hand. The door just was completely black. That fire is still under investigation, but Myers is relieved to hear about the arrest for the two other fires at her complex. Pretty crazy. I didn't think it'd be anyone from like around here. Detectives write in the jail booking documents that there are currently 10 open arson investigations of occupied buildings that have occurred between August 5th and today. These fires all occur within a five block radius of Centennial Apartments. One of those includes this blaze right before Christmas. A family of five had to escape the flames in the middle of the night. We're going to go where the evidence takes us. It's still important, um, even though we have made an arrest, to be diligent. And part of that diligence is making sure that you've got working smoke detectors and the fire marshal still asking for patience from the community saying that these type of arson investigations take a long time. Mike, I was able to confirm today that they do have help here in Provo. They have federal agents with the FBI and ATF that are assisting with this investigation. Yeah, clearly they still have a lot to sort out, though. All right, lad, thank you.